I'm going to show you how to create a Google account on your Windows 11 computer or laptop. So by creating a Google account, this is going to give you access to things like email and also the Google Drive. So the first thing you need to do is just open up an internet browser. Now I'm going to be using Google Chrome, but you can use any internet browser. Then what you need to do is head over to the address bar and come over to the website google.com. Now, once you're on this website, we need to click on login in the top right hand side, and then you need to select create an account. Now you can create an account for your personal use for children or also for your business. So I'm going to be selecting for my personal use, but you can select any of these three options. Now just go and enter your first and last name, click on next, enter your date of birth, and then go and press next. Now go and select an email address for your Google account. You can select one of the options or you can go and create your own Gmail address. So I'm gonna click on create your own and then type in what you want your email address to be called. And it's always going to be followed with at gmail.com. Then go and press next and enter a password for your account. Click on next again. And now you'll need to enter a telephone number to go and verify your Google account. Once you've entered your code, go and press next. Now, if you struggle verifying your phone number, then it probably means your phone number is already associated to too many Gmail accounts. Now to go and fix this, you can obviously use another phone number or another way to fix this is to remove your phone number from the accounts that are already associated with it. Now, once you've done this, you can either press skip or next, click on next again, and then scroll down and agree to the terms and conditions. And finally, we have now created our Google account. So what you can do, if you want to go and use email, you can click on this Gmail button in the top right hand side, and you can now begin using your email account so you can go and send and receive emails. You also have access to all of Google's products as well. If you click on the square icon in the top right hand side, you'll be able to use things such as the Google Drive and YouTube and basically all of Google's features. So that's it guys. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.